So, so we are here with Sham Ibrahim. We're going over a little bit about his lifestyle. He's got a pretty crazy story. You've got some pretty good experience uh, outside of here doing some pretty incredible sports growing oh, up. I know. Yeah, that's the truth. I wanted to talk you know a little my bit secret. about. I want to hear your secret. Shoes. This guy skateboards and he rocks. I, tell us about it. You can't tell with my costume on, but when I'm, you know, without the costume, I look like a lumberjack. I'm not really, you know, that. You know, I don't have, I'm not all that flash dance during the day, you know what I mean? I just walk around in my lumberjack clothes, and when I do that, I ride a skateboard, and I skateboard empty swimming pools, and the people that I skate with are like really high level pros. I'm not like that gnarly or that hardcore, like I can drop in, I can carve around, I get the coping, you know what I mean? I'm not a poser by any means, but I definitely am not like doing hand plants. I'm not quite there yet. Well, that's incredible. Tell us a little bit about acceptance by the skateboarding community because they're really a subculture within themselves and they seem to be pretty tight niche, but uh, they've been really accepting of you and you become part of the team. Well, I think that all sports have an element of homophobia because unfortunately male dominated uh, activities like that, there tends to be a lot of ignorance because of things that people are afraid of and that they don't understand and sometimes because people are in the closet. But with more athletes coming out of the closet, there's been a lot more visibility, especially in the NFL lately, I'm sure you know, you know, there's never been a gay football player until this year. And that just sort of opens doors for everyone else and gives a role model for people who are out there who also might be in fear or might be in the closet or might be in the fear of coming out. It makes them feel like they're not alone. So I think that's really important and that's why I open up about my skateboarding because it's like, you know, that is the truth of who I am and I don't feel like I should hide anything with what I do. And thank God the people that I skate with are very accepting, although I have encountered quite a bit of homophobia at other skate parks and just in the dialogue sometimes I hear people say things that are very, I feel offensive. It's the same as a woman may feel sometimes with, you know, certain words are misogynistic. I as a gay man feel that when I hear that F word, if you know what I mean, I guess I have to say it, do I have to? You know what I'm talking about. So anyway, when I hear that, I do get offended, even though it's not in the context, you know, saying like directed towards me, you know, it may not have anything to do with that, but nonetheless, it hurts somebody. So I think it's important to be aware of your language, be aware of what you say, and be who you are, and don't be afraid no matter what you do. So you're referring to the word fabulous, right? Fabulous. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's awesome. Exactly what I fabulous. Would. That's the word they should be using. Can we get a photo? Days and what's your your outlet again? So it's uh, ESPN, the Empower Hour. All right, ESPN Hour. Sorry. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. I love ESPN Power Hour. My name is Sham Ibrahim. I'm your favorite pop artist. And thank you so much for being here at World of Wonder today. We're having a very happy holiday.